Operating a furnace is a big job. Good furnace operation pays off in cost savings and safety. One way that furnace operators minimize costs and maximize safety is by following proper startup and shutdown procedures. In general, startup preparations for a furnace are tasks done before the burners are lit. One thing you'll need to do is check the status of the furnace with your supervisor. If the furnace has been shut down for maintenance, you'll have to verify that the work's been done and that the furnace can be prepared for startup. You should also make sure that all the tagouts have been lifted and that the equipment is in its normal pre-start condition. A furnace and the area around it should be kept clean to minimize safety hazards. If there are any tools left around or rags or other flammable materials, they should be stored or disposed of properly. Before you start up a furnace, it's a good idea to inspect inside it. For instance, examine the tubes and the refractory. Check the tubes for bulges and signs of cracks or holes. If a flammable process fluid leaks out of a cracked or ruptured tube, it could ignite and create a dangerous operating condition. The tubes should rest on their supports and not hang freely or sag. The tube supports should be in good condition. If they're loose or broken, they won't hold the tubes properly. Also, inspect the refractory. Look for cracked or loose bricks and mortar. Any of these problems can affect the insulating properties of the refractory and reduce the efficiency of the furnace. It's also a good idea to check for loose debris in the furnace and remove any you find. If you notice any damage, report it. The damage may have to be repaired before the furnace is started. During the startup preparations, all access openings should be closed up tight. These include all the peepholes, doors that provide access for tube headers, and any other places that could allow air leakage into the furnace during operation. If you spot a potential air leak, report it. When a furnace is operating, air should enter only through the burner air registers. If the registers don't open and close like they should, it will be difficult to regulate airflow, so it's important to check them for proper operation. Another thing you should take a look at is the stack damper. Make sure it's not stuck or broken. You'll need the stack damper working properly to control airflow through the furnace. Often, the air registers and the stack damper are left wide open during the pre-start to prepare for purging. A pre-start procedure we'll cover in a minute. In addition to the air supply system, the fuel supply system should also be checked and the valve should be lined up prior to startup. In general, lining up valves means verifying that they're in the proper positions. There's often a lineup checklist that indicates how each valve in the system should be set. While you're lining up the valves, look for leaks and signs of valve or piping damage. Detecting and repairing problems at this point can help prevent equipment damage and injury. The valve lineup often calls for the isolation or block valves and the pilot valves for the individual burners to be closed. There may also be blinds in the fuel and process fluid lines. Blinds are basically discs that are inserted into the lines to prevent fluid from flowing to certain areas of a process system. Blinding the fuel lines prevents fuel from inadvertently reaching the furnace before the burners are lit. But if there are blinds, at some point they'll need to be removed so you can get fuel to the furnace when you need it. With gas-fired furnaces, there are often knockout drums that have to be drained of moisture that may be in the fuel gas. Moisture in the fuel can cause combustion problems in the furnace. Also, a lot of water in the fuel can put out the fire at the burner. So it's important for the fuel gas to be free of moisture before it's ignited. There may be more than one knockout drum to check. At this facility, there's a knockout drum that serves the entire facility. And there are knockout drums for individual furnaces. For oil-fired furnaces, you'll need to check the oil system components to make sure they're working properly. For example, look at the pump that moves the oil through the system and the oil heater, which warms the oil to make it easier to atomize. Any obvious indications of damage or defects should be reported. Also, check the oil strainer that removes impurities from the fuel oil. The strainer may have to be cleaned or the strainer baskets may have to be replaced. For many furnaces, the last thing done before lighting the burners is purging. Purging the furnace removes any combustibles or unburned fuel. Unburned fuel can explode when the burners are ignited. Because of this, purging is one of the most important steps in getting a furnace ready for startup, and it has to be done thoroughly. Furnaces are typically purged with either steam or air.
This furnace is purged with steam. The steam is injected into the furnace and it carries any flammable vapors out through the stack. This system has permanent steam lines that are open to start steam flow to the furnace. You should purge as long as your operating instructions require. It may be necessary to purge until you see steam coming from the stack or even longer.